Yo, what's up? So I wanted to talk about today this like interesting beat I made. I have lyrics on it, but I'm just gonna show you the beat. And it adds it has like con like really good contrast um in a few areas. So I'm just gonna play you it and see if you like pick up on stuff or whatever, bro. Like it's pretty cool for real. <laughs> Anyways, like you get like the general idea. I guess I don't know exactly what to talk about first. I'll talk about the most obvious thing first. And it's the contrast between the live instrument, the guitar here. So you hear this. I mean, this is a MIDI piano, but you know. So it sounds like an E piano. And then it comes in with this synth lead, which is like a very like 8-bit-ish kind of like lead. So it comes in with this. And then them combined, it makes like this interesting kind of thing here. So... So it's honestly like a, a very interesting contrast. They're mostly playing the same notes, but the tone at which they're playing is vastly different. The guitar, they actually, even though it sounds like they contrast a lot, it's kind of like playing strings with a brass. It's like the brass is like very bright, but strings are usually very mellow and like, you know, like low mids, mid frequency heavy. And brass is usually, <clears throat> I want to be able to, I want to be able to hear myself. And then the, the brass is usually a lot brighter top end and all that good stuff. So this is like actually very similar to that type of like pairing. So like the guitar, I, I processed it. I mean, it originally sounds like this. Oops. Doesn't sound bad, but the processing adds like this kind of thing. I made it very beefy and compressed. So what it does is it gets very smooth and it also has like a natural characteristic to it because I, I, I'm, I'll admit I'm not, I'm not amazing at guitar. So, <laughs> um, so it kind of adds this nice like flowing style. And then the, the lead adds like this robotic kind of vibe without processing. With processing. But very contrasting kind of vibes here. So honestly, it's like um, adding synthesized instruments to a normal natural instrument. And it, it's important on which ones you pick because like the guitar, 
in this case, I made it very chill, very smooth, and like kind of low end, low mids, mid heavy. Whereas this like synth lead is very bright, it's very saw like, and it's hitting like those like upper mids treble frequencies and that kind of stuff so they work together really well and that helps fill out the entire mix and what the next this kind of segues into the next topic i want to talk about so the uh i i honestly didn't really plan this from the start but every single chord in this is minor yet the beat doesn't sound that sad. I mean, like, it doesn't... Like, if you have all minor chords, to be honest, that isn't the only thing that makes a beat sad. So, like, yeah, it sounds kind of like it has some uh, tension going on in it. Like, some... Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it. Like, it doesn't feel like there's any relief, but um, it doesn't feel sad either. It's kind of, like, kind of melancholic in a way. So... Like, just listen to all of the instruments together. And I think what really changes how a beat feels is number one, the tonality. So what notes you're picking, that's probably up at the top. So like, it's all minor chords. It's an E minor. I mean, that doesn't straight up make it sad. Like you can still play all the major chords in E, e minor. So it doesn't really necessarily make it sad. So, but the voicings that you pick, and if you're, if your voice leading tends to go down, is really important. So like here's the example on the piano. So my voice leading only at the end comes back up in order for it to like kind of like loop. Um, but the voice leading is going down. You can literally just see in the nose like it's it's going down. So um, that's another thing that makes it kind of feel sadder. So um, the thing, but but overall in this beat, I don't get a sad vibe. And in my opinion, I think that's coming from the tempo and the the cadence at which I'm like doing the drums and shit. So the drum, there's actually a lot going on in the drums. So like, it ain't that simple with them. Especially if I get later in the song when the when the uh, perk comes in. I think what's adding a lot is because it isn't it doesn't feel that empty with the drums. There's a decent amount of fills, especially as the the bars cross, like working with the melody. But it, it's not like so empty. Like if you really want a sad vibe, you'd probably go with very like very sparingly with the drums. And having a two-step hi hat is also kind of big here because it, it does keep the energy up. Like for example, if I change this and I just change it into a uh, four-step. I'm telling you, this will sound a lot different. Compared to this. So like, does the, does the beat feel, feel melancholic? Yes. Does it sound necessarily sad? I wouldn't say so. 
I, w- I wouldn't quite say so. It it sounds like there's a journey going on here. Um, there's a nice contrast on these instruments. I did not think that having such a a difference in the instruments, the synth lead and the guitar would sound so good, but it honestly turned out really good, and I'm super, super happy with it. So, um, yeah, that's all I really want to talk about today is just, like, about the contrast and uh, different things uh, and when you make a beat and shit like that. So, um, and different things, like, you can utilize to get a different kind of vibe. Now, I never really know when I make a beat what the vibe is going to be at the end of it, but... You know, shit happens, and sometimes it turns out great. Sometimes it don't. So, you know, I usually go in different directions as it goes on because initially I wanted this to just be like a really like sad beat or something. But then I I try, tried out some two step hi hats on it, and I was like, kind of digging the the upbeat kind of tempo. So, um, I went with it. Um, I guess uh, I might as well. These are just test vocals, but on the outro of the video. I'll just go ahead and play this because fuck it. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good shit. It's been NC. Hope you enjoyed. I guess see you guys in the next one. Here is some test vocals on it. I'm going to record the final ones pretty soon, but not today. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Me up, swing me around and drag me through the dirt But that's okay, cause I got up from worse All I want is love, and then don't take me to a hearse All I want I love, and that's my only curse I just wanna get fucked up, I'm a sucker for pain Suicidal thoughts always running through my brain I see you happy, that'll take me to the grave This might be the last time you see me again Young, dumb, broken, a little naive when I make you smile, that should bring me to my knees I can do this forever, that shit hard to believe Cause I've been here forever, that's bizarre to believe That's just too bizarre I wanna crash my car off the highway Going zoom, don't know what I'm gonna do On a 95, swear I hit a tunnel down I've been getting fucked up, but not on the shrooms Damn, you got me fucked up sitting next to you I just, I was like playing, I was, this is just a blooper. I was just playing the beat and uh, I did not have the lyrics on. So I'm going to play that back. I was literally just listening to it. <laughs> so.